In this video we'll be looking at the ability of the wasps to map out the acoustic backscatter. In addition to the depths you get as you map with the wasp, you also get the acoustic intensity of the seabed. And here we're going to go into 3D mode and that's uh, some fish schools, that's uh, another part of the wasp. But the key feature here is to look at the seabed morphology, so we've got ridges here. Um, and we can turn on the backscatter layer and that will show us the difference in the acoustic properties of the seabed. So we've got some quite striking differences here. We've got some uh, hard red areas and these are actually in the trough between the ridges. And the reason for that could be that the rock is either soft or carpeted in some kind of vegetation which means that the rocks are actually giving you back a softer return um, than the sediments between them. So it's very useful in uh, ground type discrimination and habitat mapping. We have some other examples from Nova Scotia and you can see the rocks on the left and a smooth basin to the right and if we turn on the backscatter you can see that the sediments in the basin are soft and the rocky areas are hard. And another example from Trondheim in Norway, this time less topography but just as much uh, difference in the backscatter.